What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV, and I am back with another video. This video, I will touch on the raging debate between Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence Jr. We know both guys have their fan bases. Both guys have their fan boys. And it's a shame because, for one... These guys are two phenomenal fighters, two unbeaten champions, two top pound for pound, two top 10 pound for pound fighters, excuse me, in the sport of boxing. Both guys um, are tremendously skilled and gifted and are at the top of their weight class. But it seems to have drawn a line of division amongst African-Americans. And it's a shame. We have two African-American men at the prime of their career, at the height of their career, both being successful, both making good money, you know what I'm saying, staying out of trouble, and inspiring and influencing the younger African-American um, male that's watching them to potentially, you know, become boxers. And if not become boxers, just to pursue their, you know, passion with 100% dedication, commitment, and focus. But, yeah, we have a lot of grown men here on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, and so forth and so on who want to tear each guy down for what? Me, speaking for me only, I look at this as a win-win. When this fight does happen, I won't have a dog in the race. And I'm not saying that you can't pick Terrence Crawford, you can't pick Errol Spence to win this fight, or that you can be a fan, more fan of the other. I'm not saying that at all. But once you get to start tearing down a man and and trying to really dig deep and, 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 and you know take all the layers off, it's like, come on, man. Everybody always screaming unity and this and that, but yet want to criticize Terrence Crawford for signing an extension with Bob Arum. Want to criticize Errol Spence um, for showing loyalty to Al Heyman. When in reality, both of these guys have shown tremendous loyalty to the guys that have gotten them there. So, you can't really use that as an argument. And if you want to tear down the resumes of each guy, of course, you could do that, you know, because these guys are on opposite sides of the street. One guy in Errol Spence has more options at welterweight than Terrence Crawford. You know, he has the likes of Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Adrian Broner, so forth and so on over there. Terrence Crawford has the likes of Jose Benavidez, knocked him out. Jeff Horn knocked him out. Amir Khan knocked him out. So he doesn't have that many, you know, quality welterweight contenders on his side of the street. But all that doesn't mean he needs to get hate. Doesn't mean he needs to get criticized. Because regardless, he's a great fighter. In my opinion, he's the top pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the sport today. Is he a perfect fighter? No. There was no perfect fighter. You know, would I like to see him face a Danny Garcia, a Sean Porter, a Keith Thurman, a Errol Spence Jr.? Hell yeah, I would. I wouldn't be a true boxing fan and student of, a, of the game if I said anything other than yes. Would I like to see Errol Spence face Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, Terrence Crawford? Hell yeah, I would. But right now, that's just not feasible. And it's not feasible for numerous of reasons. Ego, politics, behind the scenes things that we don't know. One is signed with ESPN in top rank. The other is signed by PBC, Showtime, and Fox. Whether well, Errol Spence has a, you know, a network a deal or not. Is not affecting his his loyalty, and 
in order for us to move past this shit of you know div you know divisive division we going to have to understand that look if you're a black man and you always proclaim to want to see your black men and women be successful and when you finally see two black men being successful doing it their way not having to change not having to you know conform to be pc to be anything other than themselves and you still have a problem then you my friend aren't being real with yourself it's simple as that you're not being real with yourself when it comes time to break this fight down to pick a winner do that because you can say Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford is a better fighter. You can say Errol Spence is a better fighter and leave it at that. But when you want to tear down each other's resume like it's perfect on either side, then you're sadly mistaken. The truth of the matter is Terrence Crawford is a way more proven fighter as a professional. He's a three-division world champion. Undisputed at 140. Errol Spence has killed Brooke. Lamont Peterson, and Mikey Garcia as the significant names on his resume. So his resume needs to be improved as well. But the whole back and forth tearing each of these black men down and you supposed to be a black man that supports your people is quite hypocritical. And like I said, you don't have to be a fan of either one of these guys to show respect. But when it comes to, you know, ripping these guys for stupid shit, it, it, it becomes laughable. And it makes no sense to me. You know, I could be wrong. It just makes no sense to me. I'm happy to see both of these guys in the position they're in. Am I losing patience because I want the fight to happen? Yes. But... While I'm losing patience, I'm still happy to see these guys go out there and handle their business the right way, the clean way, you know, the professional way. In hopes that when it's time to meet up, this is everything that we constantly talk about on a day-to-day -day basis, that this fight ex exceeds expectations. But until then, let these guys, you know, win and, and prop both of them. And like I said, I don't care if you don't think Terrence Crawford can beat Errol Spence and vice versa. What I'm saying is don't rip these guys. Don't tear these guys down, especially if you're a black man screaming unity, screaming togetherness. You know what I'm saying? Just to prop one up. Because honestly, both of these guys have flaws in their game. Both of these guys have flaws on their resume. Both of these guys are loyal to, you know, people on the opposite side of the street. Both of these guys know that in order to make this fight as big as they want it to be, they're going to have to prolong it a little bit and let it continue to marinate so that when it's time to sign on the dotted line, it'll be everything that they held out for. And that's what it is, man. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you drop those comments in the comment section down below giving me your thoughts on this topic do you agree or disagree let me know why if you enjoy the content throughout the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on to be notified every time i upload content shout out to the movement and everybody that is moving with us be sure to check out three kingsboxing.com for your latest and greatest updated unfiltered and unbiased boxing news and information reported the way it should be until next time i am out peace